KFD investigators are looking for your help tonight to try and find this man. He's wanted in connection with impersonating a fire inspector here and in San Antonio. He has hit at least one downtown restaurant and another in the southern suburbs, and the city fire marshal's office thinks there may be more victims. He's hit downtown Austin at least once. Sal, do you recognize this guy? Uh, no, not from anywhere local around here. <laughs> The GM of this popular steakhouse in downtown Austin says he'll get scammers in about once a week looking for a free meal, but he's never seen anyone gutsy enough to pose as a fire inspector. Well, there's no badge. He's unshaven. I've never seen a, I've never seen a fire marshal or fire inspector that looked that sloppy. But this week, one of Sal's neighboring businesses was fooled into giving this dark-haired man nearly $200 cash. Later that day, a store manager at Barton Creek Square Mall parted with $600. He's also hit a business in San Antonio. I think this guy. It's also a first for city fire inspectors who point out inspectors always show up with ID and in uniform. He comes across as being very legitimate and says the right things. He could have been doing this for years for all we know, and it's just now that we find out he's, he's not legitimate. He hasn't given a name or shown any kind of ID, but he tells his targets he works with private fire protection companies like Fireboss and Dragon Fire. But they didn't recognize him when City of Austin investigators asked. And what irks these Austin City Fire investigators the most is the receipt he writes up reading City Fire Prevention and giving a phony Austin address. That's got to cut close because you guys do the exact same work. Yeah, and, and not that we're looking at him as a competing interest. Uh, however, what he's doing is not right, and we want to protect the public. Now, take another look here. Investigators are hoping you recognize this guy and give them a call this weekend even. 512-974-0240 is the number. We've listed it on the story with this uh, on the website with this story, by the way. And we can tell you that the uh, Texas Penal Code also has a category for impersonating a civil servant. It's listed as a third-degree felony punishable by up to two years in jail.